Hi there, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Marley and today I'm going to be doing the spoiler tag. I was tagged by Nerdy Nat Reads, so thank you to Nat. I will link her below and I will link the creator of the tag as well. This tag is basically a bunch of questions about spoilers, which is very relevant if you are a book, movie, TV fan, you are familiar with spoilers. Before we get into the questions, I'll just mention that I make bookish videos every every week on this channel, which include tag videos, wrap ups, reading vlogs, all those types of things. So please make sure to subscribe if you are not already. And now let's jump into the questions. So question number one asks, what do you consider to be a spoiler? So I think anything past like the initial premise or setup of the book or TV show would be considered a spoiler. Another way to look at it, I would say anything that's not included in the promotional material would be considered a spoiler. Like how there's a description for every book or there's like a trailer for a movie and TV show obviously those things are not really spoilers because they're being used to promote the show or the book I would say anything that's not included in the trailer in those cases would be considered a spoiler and then obviously any like major twists or any like major character deaths I would obviously consider those things a spoiler the second question is does the genre you're reading impact what you consider to be a spoiler and I guess so like for an example if it's a romance book that's the genre then I know kind of what the format of the book is going to be there's going to be a romance there's going to be a couple and most likely they will have a happy have a happily ever after so that is not really considered a spoiler because considering it's a romance you know that's gonna happen but in a fantasy or a thriller those are a little bit more unexpected and if we're sticking with the romance theme then if there's a romance in a thriller or a fantasy the ending for that couple is a little bit more up in the air we don't really know if they for sure will end up together in those cases we don't really know if it will be a happy ending if it's a thriller or fantasy so i guess the answer would be yes to this question question number three all the best bits are in the trailer sometimes the synopsis can be too too detailed. Do you research books prior to reading them or do you prefer to go in knowing nothing? And I'll admit I do like going into books knowing not very much. I feel like it's a really fun experience but since I'm on booktube so much watching videos and making videos I feel like that's not normally the case for me anymore. Normally all the books that I read are ones I've heard talked about extensively from multiple favorite booktubers of mine so I don't really get to have that experience of going in knowing nothing anymore especially since I started making TBR videos which I haven't always but I did start to make them and now like I obviously need to know what a book is about if I'm going to talk about in a TBR unless I just want to like show the the cover of the book and like not say anything about it so because of that purpose I kind of do need to know what books are about now but I remember back before I did TBRs it was nice to just go in kind of blind and for an example like I would read a book even if I know nothing about it if I've heard good things about it like if I've heard from a booktuber that they liked a book it was five stars whatever but I don't know anything about it but I trust them then I would read that or if I know the author and like I know that I like their books then I would just like auto buy or auto read those too. Question four. Sometimes the introduction or the translator's note can spoil things, especially in classics. Has this ever happened to me? And I would say no, first of all, because I don't read many classics for one thing. And I haven't really seen many like translators notes or introductions like that in most of the books that I read. And if I did come across one of those, I would probably only like skim it or like I'm not even sure if I would read that section anyways. So yeah. Question number five is name a time somebody spoiled a novel for you. And the one that I could think of was Twilight or Breaking Dawn specifically. I think back when I read Twilight, all of the books were already out just through like being online in the fandom or whatever. I think I knew what was going to happen in Breaking Dawn with Bella getting pregnant and having Renesme. I also would watch fan videos normally back in the day. So I feel like maybe I saw something in like fan videos or like fan made trailers and I just knew about that storyline. I also feel like I got spoiled about something in the Mortal Instruments series regarding Clary and Jace's relationship, which it's a pretty old spoiler. So I probably 
am allowed to say it, but I won't just so I don't spoil anyone. But with the reveal that happens at the end of the first book, City of Bones, I'll just say it's regarding that. <laughs> the next question is, have you ever spoiled a novel for somebody else? I really couldn't think of something for this. All I could say is that I probably have in one of my videos potentially, but hopefully not. Unless it was one of my videos where I say that I'm gonna say spoilers. Question seven, if spoilers ruin novels, are there some authors or genres you can't reread? And for this one, it's probably a popular answer, but I think reading mysteries or thrillers, the allure of that is obviously not knowing what happens in the mystery. So personally, I feel like those types of books would be hard to reread. I don't even think I've ever reread a mystery, but then at the same time, and I know this with movies, I actually do like to rewatch movies that have big twists in our mysteries, because then when you're rewatching it, you can kind of notice all of the clues that you weren't able to notice before. Personally, one of my favorite movies to do this with is The Prestige, highly recommend. Or another one that I've done that with is Shutter Island or The Sixth Sense would also be a good one. But I, it's just like a different experience, obviously, when you do that. I think it would be a lot more fun to reread like romance or feel good fun books. That is something I've done a little bit. I'm not a big rereader, so I haven't reread a lot, but I do think if I was going to reread, I would do romances. Cause again, as I said earlier, those plots are a little bit more easy to guess. So it's not reliant on the spoiler elements. It's more about just like having a good time when you read. Question eight is when you review, are you spoiler free? And does this limit your ability to discuss? So I try my best to be spoiler free in my videos, like in my wrap ups and in my vlogs even, but sometimes I feel like in the past, I might have let out little details that maybe I should not because it can be hard to talk totally spoiler-free spoiler but still get across how you're feeling about a book. I have done a few spoiler-filled reviews for Cassandra Clare's books and Rick Riordan's books as those are two of my favorite authors and I really did enjoy doing those types of videos. I liked just being able to say everything that was happening in the, in the plot, not like gating myself with anything that I say. It probably was a more enjoyable experience than when I do my spoiler free reading vlogs and I do actually hope to do more of those because of that but at the same time as everyone on here knows that limits the amount of people that can watch the video because only people who have read the book can watch it or people who just don't care about getting spoiled but I feel like that's probably not many people so I obviously like to have the most amount of people be able to watch my videos as possible as a lot of us do and I think that's why we normally do spoiler free videos but I do definitely enjoy doing the spoiler included ones and last question is just to tag some people so I'm going to go ahead and tag plot twist with Jesse hopefully you haven't done this tag already but I am tagging you and yeah this has been the spoiler book tag so thank you guys for watching let me know what was the biggest spoiler you got and how pissed were you <laughs> when you heard it but yeah i hope you guys are having a great month having a great summer and i'll see you guys in my next video bye <laughs>